Hello friends, welcome to CAD Maniac. This tutorial is all about hatch creation in AutoCAD and we are using AutoCAD 2023 version for this tutorial. Hatches are typically used in sections. We will learn different hatch patterns in this tutorial. One question for you all. Which hatch pattern is commonly used to show these labs? Do comment in the comment section. So here is the hatch in the draw panel. You can click it from here or type H and press enter to add hatch. Now first I'll create a few circles. The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with CAD Mania and make your AutoCAD engineering dreams come true. Download the app now. Now type H and press enter. Hover the cursor inside the boundaries and see a solid hatch is shown. Now click inside the boundary. These are the hatch patterns. You can choose from these options. This is the scale. You can change the hatch scale from here. See the scale is changing. Once done, press enter to complete the hatch. Repeat hatch. Now click on select from boundaries panel. And select the circle. And see hatch has been created completely inside the circle. I'll erase this. Now select this hatch and you can make it solid or even a mixture of two colors known as gradient. Now you can change the color of the hatch from here and change the background color from here. Now you can even make the hatch transparent. Increase the hatch transparency from here. I'll make it zero again. You can change the angle of the hatch from here. We can set the origin of the hatch as well. I am setting the origin at this quadrant. Now while changing the angle you can see the angle is changing with respect to the origin we have set. So I will erase the hatch now. Now repeat hatch command. Click on pick internal point and click inside this boundary to add the hatch. Now if this associative option is turned on, see what happens. When we stretch the circle, then the hatch gets stretched as well. But if it is off, the circle don't get stretched along with the hatch. Now draw another circle. Type H and press enter. Click on match properties, select this hatch and then click inside the circle to match the hatch. See it again. So it's done. Now we will learn these options. So first I'll copy this hatch over here. Now select this hatch, click on recreate. Click on polyline and press enter to create the hatch boundary. Copy this one. Select the hatch, click on recreate again and select region and press enter. Now if we change the visual style to conceptual, we can see a surface has been created in case of region option. Now select the hatch. Click on remove. Then select the outer circles. And press enter to remove the hatch as shown. Now select this hatch. Click on remove. And then select only the outer circle. And press enter. And see the hatch is transferred to the inner circle as the boundary is active over there. Next draw a few more circles. Type 
type h and press enter and add hatch over this now if i select this circle see all the hatches have been selected and it has moved along with the circle now repeat hatch command click on create separate hatches then add the hatches now all the hatches are single entities now i'll erase this hatch repeat hatch now these are some of the options you can check these will be done as per the drawing shown in the left so you can use these hatches as per your requirement now we will see some gradient hatches so type h and press enter select gradient choose two color of your choice then just click add hatch transparency and press enter repeat hatch command click on match properties and click inside the boundaries as shown to add the hatches we can select and change the color and pattern you may edit it as per your wish next is boundary option let me make a star like this now we can create separate boundaries using boundary command so type bo and press enter click on pick point and then click inside this boundary and the polyline is formed here you can see this has been separated you can create multiple boundaries at a time and use it as per need one more option for that just create an open triangle now type h and press enter and click inside the triangle there is no close boundary so hatch is not forming so click on close and increase the gap tolerance from here then again click inside the triangle and click on continue hatching the area you can see the hatch is created so this is all about hatch command if i have left any option you can comment in the comment section i'll make another video regarding that so that's it for this video guys everybody stay healthy stay safe bye bye